Hi everybody, here with the newest goalkeeper for the LA Galaxy, Matt Lampson. He's kind enough to sit down with us here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. How are you setting, settling into LA? What's this first kind of two weeks been like for you? Uh, obviously coming from Minnesota, uh, we know how cold it is there right now. So just the weather alone makes it fantastic. Uh, you guys set up a beautiful Eden to sit in. Uh, and I appreciate that. The, the team's been fantastic. Uh, the guys are awesome. Coaching staff is top class. Everything here is uh, top class of MLS. So it's been awesome to be a part of and I'm very proud to represent LA Galaxy. Two days, you guys are kind of winding down, kind of in the thick of it. What's the best way for you that you like to kind of relax after a really tough training, long two-a-days, like what's your go-to thing to chill out? Eat. What, what's your favorite meal? I will take down an immense amount of pizza. Uh, and obviously, as you know, donuts. <laughs> and if they happen at the same time, I won't necessarily be angry about it and I'll eat both accordingly, probably about half does and then a large pizza. Obviously, I can't do that during two days, so I have to eat the good stuff like chicken breast and vegetables. But yeah, I just love to eat. That's the best recovery. Wouldn't you think so? That's a great recovery. I guess just on that thread, you mentioned you're a Midwest guy. We got the Waffle House shirt on today. What's one of the biggest misconceptions that you had about LA life and life here on the West Coast that maybe you've debunked or maybe not? Yeah, I was gonna say misconceptions, I don't know. Uh, everything I've expected has happened. Like um, what? Well, traffic, for instance. Okay. Uh, they, tr they ticket your car regardless of whether you're parked legal or not. Uh, they charge you to spend money at the store because if you don't bring a bag, they charge you to actually buy groceries. <laughs> the, they charge you for the bag, right? Yeah, but do you like to be charged to buy bananas? Well, there's taxes, so you, you have to do that, but. I I'm mean, just a simpleton, okay? okay? I'm a simpleton, I'm a plebeian. I want to pay my 29 cents a pound for bananas and not have to pay 10 cents to take them home. The bag. The bag. Got it. Just, I mean, has it been a difficult adjustment settling in here? Have you done any of the touristy things? Uh, no, I haven't had time to do the touristy things. I can't wait to go to the national parks, uh, Aquarium of the Pacific. I'm really jazzed up about. Uh, it's a great aquarium. Uh, Disneyland, obviously. Disney is fantastic. Uh, who's your di favorite Disney princess? I think I really liked Pocahontas. Pocahontas was like yeah. my favorite Disney princess. You liked Miko the raccoon too. Because she had a pet raccoon. <laughs> she did have a pet raccoon. Uh, more of a friend, though, than a raccoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Who's your favorite Disney character? Absolutely. Character or princess? Princess. Princess is definitely Belle, hands down. Mm. She fell in love with, like, a heinous-looking creature, which gives me a chance. Mm. Let's talk a little bit. <laughs> switch gears a little bit. Okay. Uh, maybe reel this thing back in. We know that you have a very special background going through cancer. And I, I know I read a quote from you that I thought was really powerful in that you didn't want to be the guy that was the player who had cancer. You wanted to be the player who was known for his game on the field who had cancer too. Why yeah. was that important to you? Uh, because I think I want my play to speak for itself. I don't want to be known for one thing. Um, and it's special to me that like when I talk to the guys on this team, they didn't even know, you know, so they respect me for the game that I have as opposed to, oh, wow, did you even know that he had, you know, so it's, it's nice to, it's nice to be known for what you, you, the product you put on the field, because that's what I'm here for. I'm not here because of what I did uh, in a previous life or with, uh, with what I do off the field. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to play soccer. So that's what I want to be known for. Can you tell us a little bit about your foundation and why it was important to you to start? Yeah, so I had cancer when I was 17, finished treatment at 18. Um, so I started a foundation in my second year in the league with Columbus uh, to basically provide hope, inspiration, financial support, and educational services to 
uh, pediatric cancer patients and survivors and their families. Um, basically to give them an example of what they can do when they're finished with treatment. Um, and I didn't have that type of message when I was coming through treatment and for me it's really important to provide an example and a palpable image of hope of what you can do and that cancer doesn't define you and, and everything you do with your second chance at life you can truly make a difference and that's that's what, the type of message I want to instill so um, obviously I hold it very dear to my heart and it's it's very important to me and, and I hope that the city of LA is receptive to it and uh, and helps me spread my message. Well thank you we appreciate it thank yeah. you for your time and sitting down and you're a very <laughs> interesting person we think we learned a lot about you here today. Thank you thank you for having me. <laughs> appreciate it.